Today we're going to be trying the Harney & Sons Black Cask Bourbon Tea. It's a smoked tea. Mom really likes smoked teas. I have not I tried smoked tea. So we're going to see. I've been you wanting haven't it. You have tried a smoked tea? Never. No. I was going to try the Lapsing Suzong, but then I never did. I don't know why. Alright, so or we're going to smell it. It's my favorite. It smells interesting. It's almost like a little bit, not acidic. It smells, um. But kind of... Yeah, it's kind of I, acidic. I, it's kind of, um... I expect it to smell kind of like tobacco, kind of. Yeah, there's that not in the first scent, but when yeah. you smell it again, you smell that, at least for me. Smell it again, and it has like a, um, chili pepper-like smell it does... to me. No, I don't smell if that. If you take... It almost has a sour smell. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, not acidic, but like... Well, it'd be interesting. But it is very tobacco-smelling. I was gonna get loose leaf, but they oh, only had to say to steep. this one. You steep for five minutes. Okay. And it, the water is actually perfect. It's not quite it says prominent notes of vanilla, caramel, atop a base of smoky black tea. Perfect for slow for sipping slow and steady as a bourbon should be. I've never this sipped one. A, never sipped bourbon. Me neither. So I guess we'll have to. <laughs> I would hope not, considering your um. age. <laughs> But I was looking at the reviews, which I know some people say you shouldn't look at reviews before doing a tea testing, but I did it on this one, um, and it was Jeez. hilarious because someone said it tastes like gasoline and oil in a cup. <laughs> and everyone seemed to either love it, and they were like, oh, it's the perfect winter tea, it's so nice, I love it. Or they are like, this is trash, this is garbage, I hated it. Yeah, so. but whenever you don't like something, you have to do it again, well, at least one yeah. more time. Um, ingredients, it's black tea, black tea, black tea, lapsing, souchong, bourbon flavor, and natural flavors. Five <laughs> minutes. Did you even look at the clock? You didn't look at the clock. No, I didn't look at the clock. We'll just pretend see. like we know. Mike Harney's tea rating. Briskness. Does it make your mouth pu pucker? He gave it a two out of five. Uh, body, he gave two out of five. Aroma, he gave a four out of five. I, I, I expected it to smell more like a black, smoky tea. But it really just smells smoky and sour. Yeah. I didn't expect the I'm sourness. scared. <laughs> yeah. It's a really pretty tin, though. I love the, like, coppery yeah, and liner. And this one is uh, just so cool. These lids come so, off better than... Than the, uh, yeah. Grab that one. This one is just so dramatic. I these look nice, but they're... They're harder to get to the rim here. They're not... Nice to get all They also off. collect dust easier right there. You have here. a lot of this tea left. <laughs> I know. Remember you packed it in there and I've been using what was downstairs because that's what's uh, easiest to get to. <laughs> no wonder I'm almost that's gone. My, that's my upstairs tea. <laughs> yeah, it's... I totally did not expect the sourness though, but it definitely has a yeah, like, sour smell. Yeah, it is smell. a definite sm sour smell. But it's not because of... Uh, it was packed know. November 17th, 2021. Best Buy 2023. But it's not a bad sour It's not a smell. bad, it's just surprising. It's just like, yeah, it's interesting. I don't really smell vanilla and caramel in it, though, either. Maybe you just taste that, but. Yeah, I don't smell either of those either. Although, it's a little bit of the caramely type idea, but not. It'll be interesting to smell the tea done, which I feel like doing, but I don't want to cool it off. I wonder if it's leaking. I don't think so. I just think, just think condensation. Just it up and moved it. I think you might have spilled it when you were doing it, but we'll find oh, yeah. out. It's a new tea cup pot from the thrift store. From Japan. But it matches cups. these. Yeah. This which... one's a bit more chocolatey brown. This one's like black wax. Is this they're Japan? Very similar. Yeah, they're all Japan, which I thought was really cool. I thought these were they're... Italian for some reason. No. I thought that they were too whenever I bought them at the thrift store, but they're a Japanese brand, and it's a cappuccino cup, which is fun. <sighs> 
need that caffeine. You think it's been about five minutes? I think it's been about three and a half. I hope you can really taste the vanilla and the caramel because I think that sounds good. I kind of doubt it though because yeah, me too. smoky teas are pretty strong and that sour and you don't really smell really it either. Strong. Yeah. It but doesn't even really smell exactly like smoky though, though to me. No, you catch it, but it's not like... Yeah, it's not like, oh, that smells like smoke. It's, it's not like, like Lapsang Souchong. It's more of a... The smell is kind of like whenever you have a tart fruit tea, like an apple oh, tea, yeah. or... Uh, With like a hint of smoke. I don't know, there's a fairy tea acid. that the girls like that smells... Similar. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of has that, like, fruity, sour note to it. In the yeah, smell. I'm kind of scared because it sounds strong and yeah but it just smells sour it's, it doesn't smell it doesn't smell necessarily strong just yeah like that but what i'm smelling in it is like that fruit tea that i don't like that yeah. kind of sour taste but this one shouldn't i should probably quit thinking about it i never <laughs> i'd never sit and wait for tea it's like it's like just drink it <laughs> well i right. or i forget about it long enough to rue yeah two more minutes maybe it is it might be. That would be sad, but I think it is. Oh, yeah, it is. That's for sure. Well, this is the first and only use for us. That's sad. It is pretty, though. I'll just keep being a mom and use my clothes to dry it. Would you like to pour some? I would like to pour some, but okay. I'd like my short arms to be able to reach it, so. That sounds strange. Oh, it pours so lovely onto the table. It's really light-colored. Maybe we didn't wait five minutes. Also, um, that's oh, one tea whoa. bag. It smells for this way whole thing. more smoky now. It's not as sour smelling. That's true. It's not sour smell. Gone. It smells good. It's scared. Hmm. It's really light. I may have not added enough. Um, it still has good. a lot of flavor. Um, yeah. I would. I would make it two tea bags should have been too. in there, but and I knew that, but I was scared, so I didn't. It's do yummy. It. I was scared of burning myself. It is it, you do taste a little bit more of the smoke. It doesn't taste sour at all. No, there's no sour flavor now. But I don't really I mean, know what smoke. even should have been the sour. It smell. does smell like wet smoke. You know, like whenever it's like, <laughs> <laughs> well, whenever um, like, you know, when it rains after like on a campfire. Afterwards, it has that kind of like damp, smoky smell. This is really good. I don't know where they. It just tastes like a, like a smoke tea. It doesn't. I don't it's taste really the vanilla or the caramel. Yeah, I don't taste anything with smoke. Or the bourbon. Yeah, it's good. I don't know. <laughs> that was very dramatic though to call it gasoline in a cup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the flavor is. It makes even me even if it was as strong as it probably should have been. There, it doesn't it, taste like gas at all. Now the smell had me terrified. Um, but yeah, I, it makes me wonder if they totally brewed it wrong or something because, or they're just a dramatic person, I don't know. They're probably three years old. <laughs> Although our three-year-olds would like it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me, I'm not really sure why, but it kind of reminds me of a green tea, even though it's not as, like, vicious tasting. It's strong enough. Yeah, it's just lighter. Now I taste a little bit of vanilla. I wonder what our second cup will taste like. Bonza. Yeah, I do taste a little bit of um, vanilla. Mm, I like that when it's like... They're momming me. Like the aftertaste of it. It's really good. And yeah. it, now in the aftertaste, Tea aftertaste I do taste taste really a little matters. bit. Are you done? I do taste, almost, I do taste a little bit of caramel in an aftertaste because I took a bigger drink of it. And, the, like, the aftertaste, it does kind of remind me of, like, caramel. Not, like, I'm not tasting sweet it. caramel, but... You know what you should do is a tea tasting with your father. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that would be quite would be fun. He doesn't like tea, though, very often, but it'd still be fun. It would be funny. It would be hilarious. I should see if he'll do one with me. I'm made to my mess. This is a lot darker, which I expect. Oh, yeah, it is a lot darker. It's pr It has, like, a greenish-brown tone to it. This is gonna sound funny, but... <laughs> like, dead grass. <laughs> You would know what grass tea tastes like. Yeah, it looks like when you know. <laughs> real grass, not <laughs> other it's, grass. It does smell though, um, more like the smoky. Now I smell the sourness though. again. Yeah, 
It's kind of like an after smell though. Reminds me of greenery. Like, just. <laughs> it's it's good. It's definitely a stronger flavor now though. Do you taste that little bit of caramel? No. It's like an aftertaste and it's not like a sweet caramel though. It's just like. I taste the sour smell now. Mm. You taste the smell? <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I do. This is really good, and yeah, and I'm tasting the smoky flavor a lot more, and it's like good though. I I think whenever I think of smoke, I want to think that it tastes good, but this is oh, good. I like smoke. Well, I mean, I've never tried it. When you just think of an idea of like smoke in a cup, <laughs> but this is yummy, and I think Ryan would like this one. Cause she was saying she wouldn't, didn't know about smoked teas. She didn't like the other smoked one. This is less smoky like than a basic lap saying. I I have smelled that one, uh, the smoked tea that you had. The smoked tea that I had it is smelled it? really strong, like smoke, and so I expected this to be like that too. Mm, yeah, but the one that I have downstairs is. I was trying to be cheap, so it's mm -hmm. not that great. The one that Mrs. M had, I think. Came from the health food store. I, don't know I like this. It's like it's a, it's interesting because it's like a strong tasting tea, but it's not. Like it's not like it's a, definitely a black tea, but it's on the. It's a side. light black. Yeah, tea. it's not like a rooibos or a green tea. It's, well, it's just, not like an Assam or some other kind of dark. Yeah, black it's tea, somehow. It's like a dark light tea. <laughs> yeah. And there's like, yeah, you definitely get more smoke flavor like as you drink it like first off you don't really taste any smoke well he really. said that it's a uh, two on body and i would agree with that it's yeah. not it's, it's not, not really a substantial tea yeah uh aroma he gave it a four i would probably give it a three mm -hmm. briskness i guess it doesn't make your mouth pucker uh i, I would, would probably like a one <laughs> no because i would think that it, that would mean it does yeah i know i feel like there's a slight like I don't. Bit. I would say it's like a three or four instead yeah. of a two. The aroma, I would. Oh, I mean, it's meaning lowest as zero, and five yeah. is the highest. That's why I said one because it's not nothing to me, but it is a little bit. It's not very much. Either like a one oh, or I a see. Half. You're saying yeah. Yeah, the briskness we're is almost it. none. Yeah, that's why the I said the body one. is very low. I would say yeah, two probably because it's, it's, yeah, it's kind of more body than a green tea, but. Not of a basic black, and then the aroma. I feel I like really a four like is kind of pushing it. It's like I liked it at first, but it's the flavor is growing on me, and I'm liking it more and more. It's pretty color. I think your third pour is going to be different, the best because yeah. it's had more brew time. It smells like you're getting. It smells like. I mean, smell it. It smells like the. Uh, all the yeah, flavors you can are really smell the sour in that. You can smell the sour and the smoke flavor more. I don't, and it's really good. This third one does remind me more of like, only tobacco y. Yeah, it it does smell like. I don't taste the sourness anymore. Yeah, that was kind of weird. I didn't really taste the sourness at all on any of the cups. I smelled it on it, the did, second one, one, but I didn't taste any of it. I don't. I know I've already said this, but I keep. Like the smoky flavor is building and it's good. It's not like too no smoky harsh. teas sound odd to us typical American ish people, but it's uh, so tasty. Yeah, it's I like it. This cup is a lot darker. And mm. I agree with the people that are saying that it's like a good fall and winter drink. This would be really good when it's cooler out, you know. My but tea I think and coffee consumption have no seasonal value. I know, but I mean, it'd be especially good. It's like that hot summer and sunset tea. I love it, but I have learned it like goes from like a seven to like a twelve, from when I'm like just on a normal day and when I'm wide awake, whatever. But in the evenings, it goes like way up. I don't know what it is. It just tastes so oh, much better when everything I'm tired. is nice in the evening. <laughs> that sounds bad, but it's not, it just tastes so much better. It's more like a hug and a cup well, whenever it's evening. What you get a gross flavor now? I guess when I get a break, I taste the sourness. Yeah, you do kind of like. But I like it. Give it, it a, just, yeah, maybe I, I just need to have a big. They lied. 
<laughs> they said you should sip it. I think you just need a big mouthful. Yeah, you taste more of the flavors when you do. <laughs> At least with this tea. They must... I don't know what bourbon tastes like. I chipped my... <laughs> didn't chip my teeth, but I got my teeth on the edge. Yeah, it does kind of have that... It's weird, too, because whenever you take a breath in after drinking it, it kind of has that smoky aftertaste in your mouth. Yeah. I don't taste the vanilla at all. Me either. Or Not caramel, really. Like, I did yeah, kind I of that one time, but I don't really taste those. I mind playing tricks on you. <laughs> yeah. 40 to 60 mm. milligrams of caffeine shared between the two of us. <laughs> so, 20 to 30. I like it. Yeah, I would drink it again, but I don't know if it would get on my main list. I think this would be one of those that you, like, this this one I think would rate higher than the Florence tea. The Florence tea was just kind of, like, it was good, but it wasn't like I'm going to buy it a lot. You know, I could probably buy it yeah. again, but not very often. It'd be, like, chocolate, maybe once a year. Chocolate teas are really They're hard. They're really hard. I linked that chocolate mint one that we had. Um, yeah, but it's not chocolatey. Good. It's good, but it's yeah. not I think chocolate-y. it's kind of, like, an after. It's mostly peppermint. Um... I think that most chocolate teas I would make lattes out of. And yeah. Add Ooh, tea lattes would be so good. Them. Yes, I like, would. Make cocos <laughs> out of it. Yeah, tea lattes are good though. We actually should do that soon again. But it needs it needs to be like a hot chocolate tea latte. Yeah. This might be good that way. That, this would be. Really You'd have to brew this really strong because with, with a little bit of maple. In a tea latte. This yeah, would but be you'd so really good. have to make a strong. You tea. would have to make a really strong tea. There's 19 more sachets, so... Yeah. Maybe three in a teapot. Yeah. Uh, you want to close it out? That's what I was going to ask you if you had any other uh, final thoughts. Hmm. Final thoughts. It's good. I would drink it. It's not in my top ten. Yeah, I'd say this rates at about, like, a six for me out of ten, because it's, like, one that I'd keep on hand it's most very... of the time I want it like it's not like for me a chai tea or the cinnamon tea that I have it all the time and I like to have it all year round this is one like you know, like a six like I want it on hand yeah and I keep it in stock but it's not like a big deal you know it's, it's really definitely you want you one you want in your arsenal but I think that you should always have a smoked tea yeah and I think this one's really good especially for people that are new to smoke tea is not that I've had it. This is my first one, but I mean, like, it's not so overly smoky that it turns people off when they're not used to it. It's nice and light. Yeah. Um. I had another thought, <laughs> but it flew away. <laughs> Far away. Did it come back yet? Nope. So anyway, um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and if you want us to do more videos, let us know and. If you have any tea recommendations for ones that we should try, because that would be really fun. Um, and yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. Bye.